Hi guys, Gary from Gaz the K's Model Works. Um, this is my um, part one video, if you like, for the um, 2016 Cancer Awareness Build. Um, as you see in my intro video, I'm going to be building the Ravel um, of Germany Mini Cooper Mark 1 998cc. Um, this is just a little unboxing, um, just to start and to show you a few of the bits. And I'm going to do this video in segments, so let's get on and unbox the kit. Uh, it's a completely brand new kit. Um, the tape is still sealed, so let's cut the tape. And see what we got. Okay. Oh, that's nice. right. Several bags of parts. Oh, and one body shell, which is just uh, taking a tumble. And uh, one instruction sheet. Right, okay. So, oh, tiny. When you're used to building the American cars, look at the charger in the background and look at the Mini next to it. Tiny little thing. <laughs> um, I do love these cars though. Let's put a bit of light on the subject. There we go. So, um, nice crisp body shell. Um, this, is, this is a pretty new moulding compared to the Tamiya Mini Cooper that's been out for quite a few years. Uh, this one only came out a couple of years ago. The boulder counts is a pretty good kit though. So I should look forward to building that one. So there's your body show. Let's put the instructions up out of the way. Um, I forgot you. Let's get the old. Looks like a chrome sprue. Uh, and we've got wipers, uh, rear view mirrors, door handles. Um, looks like the what are these? could be in that manifold, perhaps. A um, couple of badges and the uh, number plate light for the for the boot and the headlight buckets. So I know a lot of you hate all this um, bag rustling nonsense, but uh, this is a brand new kit, so four little tiny little tyres. I suppose we could do this through the bags, couldn't we? Um, front seats, uh, seat backs, uh, steering wheel, um, engine hoses by the looks of it. Uh, looks like a rear valance there and an exhaust. Um, ah, good, it does come with the Austin and the Morris grills. Okay, so there we go. This Austin grill's not moulded very nicely. Hmm. Bit of a shame, and it's oh, and it's broken there as well. Oh, that's a bit of a shame because that's the grill I wanted to use. Oh well, let's see what we can do on that one. Uh, rear bumpers and the wheels, which are chrome, and they're not supposed to be chrome. Only the hubcap is supposed to be chrome in the middle. Uh, the rest of it is a painted. Um, on Mini Cooper Mark ones, generally they were like a off-white, creamy colour. So I'll strip those wheels. Real shame about that grill. Let's see what I can do on that, because I have got a Mini Cooper Rally kit upstairs, which I might be able to pinch the grill out of. And then we've got a big bag of parts. So there's your glass, and I'm keeping that in the plastic for a minute so I don't scratch it. Looks all pretty good though. And there is your engine halves. And of course on the Minis, the engine and the gearbox are all in one, the gearbox is um, part of the sump pan. These are your uh, rear uh, radius arms with the um, looks like hydroelastic suspension in this one, so rubber cone, oh no that's rubber cone suspensions. So they didn't have shock absorbers as such, they have rubber cone suspension and the later minis had hydroelastic fluid suspension. And brake lever, gear lever, uh, number plate backing. Uh, there's your interior panel and the floor. Um, there's your rear seat, and there's your door panels, nicely detailed. And then we got the, um, yep, got a little free branch manifold there, uh, various engine bits and pieces. Uh, looks like a rear valance again, or a front valance. 
Uh, these are your door pockets for the um, for the door cards. You go on there like so. On the actual door pockets, they fit on the bottom of those. They have massive door pockets in these minis. Uh, that's your uh, stabilizer or gear gear shift ton um, linkage tunnel. Steering rack, steering column. Looks like your timing case for the engine and your and your rocket cover. And there's parts of your um, bell housing for the gearbox. And other an engine ancillaries. And the last sprue is your floor pan. Just nicely detailed. Your roof panel, your inner wings or inner fenders. Um, front discs and calipers. There's your radiator. And they have got shocks. So I was lying. They have got shock absorbers. Um, there's your front cross member, uh, sort of firewall, hood, hinge, rear subframe, there's your dash panel and there's your inner wheels. So yeah, nice little detailed kit. So we'll pop all that in the uh, soapy water, get that washed up and we'll start on it when the cancer awareness build starts, which is not yet. Um, instruction sheet. Standard Ravel of Germany fair, it's a larger sheet than the American ones, it's a bit clumsy this sheet really, um, but nicely laid out and uh, gives you a bit of minutes to go and go on, nice daffle sheet there. So yeah, it's all pretty good. And there's your decal sheet, got a variety of number plates there, I won't be using these number plates, there's two English plates there, C reg and a D reg, call them C reg, ending in C, ending in D is C reg or Registered as we called it, uh, which will be C reg will be six, 1965, D reg will be 1966. Um, even though it's probably a 1964 as it says there, but um, seat belts by the looks of it, and there's your instrument panel, some nice badges. So, yeah, it's all looking pretty good. So, anything that's let me down so far is that grill, but um, I'm sure we can sort something out with that. So, um Alright, that's it for now. Back soon.